नमस्कार माय डियर फ्रेंड्स सो लेट्स सी आईआर रिसीवर्स इन दिस सेशन व्हाट वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड इज व्हाट आर द ओवरव्यूज ऑफ आईआर रिसीवर्स हाउ इट इज यूज्ड इन रिमोट कंट्रोल सिस्टम्स एंड इट्स एप्लीकेशन सर्किट्स देयर आर वेरियस ओकेजंस वेयर यू विल सी आईआर रिसीवर्स आर यूज्ड एंड देयर आर प्रॉब्लम्स लाइक दे मे इंटरफेयर विद योर वाईफाई डिवाइसेस और एंबिएंट लाइट्स लाइक सीएफएल लाइट्स एंड ऑल दीस थिंग्स सो हाउ विजैक series which is tsop1 series has overcome all these problems and they have come up with one of the best series which is tsop1 series ir receivers so let us start directly with data sheet and we'll proceed one by one so as we can see in data sheet if you see this is the ir receiver module for remote control systems and we have tsop1 series so we'll see various part numbers which, which we will be using and in this particular series we will understand a circuit with tsop 13436 okay so this is the part number that i have used in our application for our remote control device okay so as you can see some of the features it is individual ic setting to maximum performance okay and it is immune to noise like lamps lcd tvs and wifi so this is the thing that we were uh, having a problem with like lamps or cfl lamps will be there then lcd tvs are there wifi is are there so they are going to be a disturbing device for the ir receivers so this particular ir receivers are immune to this okay we have very low supply current requirement which will be in the in terms of micro amperes okay that i'll give you the exact reading of about that the photo detector and pre amplifier in one package so it has photo detector as well as well as amplification is there inside built okay and it has supply voltage range of 2 volt to 5.5 volt so it can work with both the logic levels like let's say 3.3 volt supply as well as 5 volt supply which are standards in our application circuits okay and as you can see it has application of infrared remote control system all right now if you try to understand the block diagram block diagram if you see <coughs> this is the ir receiver okay so this is the receiving point okay that is the input and this input is going through the agc control unit which is automatic gain control see this automatic gain control tries to reduce the gain or increase the gain based on the requirement so if there are noise that is happening or it is disturbance due to you know like wifi sensors or Uh, i mean uh, lcd tvs or ambient light then at that time it has to reduce the gain so that it doesn't interfere with the other devices okay at the same time it is going through a band pass filter which will be around let's say if we are using 38 kilohertz device or 36 kilohertz device then if it is 36 kilohertz then it will be working around 36 kilohertz plus minus 0.5 i mean 5% okay then we have the demodulator and after demodulator it's going to the base of the transistor and this transistor is going to give you the output as this is the output of your ir receiver and this is the supply voltage which is going through a pulled up internally pulled up it is okay so there is no need to have outer pull up and we have ground okay so these are the three pins that are there in the ir receiver now let us talk about the packages so you can see three pins are there this is the package okay So you can see three pins are there. Pin number one is out. Pin number two is ground, and pin number three is supply voltage pin. Okay. So pin number one is your output pin. Okay. If you talk about application circuits, so this is the application circuit that you can see. So in this application circuit, we have let's say here we'll put it five volt or three point three volt, and this is going through a resistor. So this resistor will be of the range of hundred ohm, and we have a capacitor. which will be uh, let's say around 4.7 microfarad or 10 microfarad in parallel to that i'll give you the application circuit exactly so no need to under understand right now and then this output signal will go to the microcontroller io pin okay so this is the io pin that will be giving you the output signal okay so this is a complete application circuit now if you see the parts table so in this parts table there are frequency okay So 30 kilohertz, 33 kilohertz, 36 kilohertz, 38 kilohertz, and all these things are there. If you see the part numbers, then part numbers are like uh, 
as well as all other others are there but what we were talking about is we are going to talk about enhanced noise suppression this is basic noise suppression the first column is basic noise suppression and this is enhanced noise suppression okay so in this agc4 is there and we have maximized noise suppression so what we are going to talk about is 13436 series okay so this is the series that we are going to talk about which is of 36 kilohertz if you want we can take about uh, tsop 13438 also the schematic will be almost same and these are very much preferred devices because uh, this has come up with very good technology with high suppressions and high immunity to disturbances <coughs> okay the package is mini mold i'll show you how does it look like and we have pinning that just now i told you like which is pin number one which is out then two is ground and three is your supply pin we have the dimension which is, this is very small dimension it is mounting is leaded okay so this is through hole package and the application as we mentioned just now it has remote control application okay now coming back to the best choices for what are the best you know like devices that it can be used with so it can be used with your cisco devices mitsubishi devices necs <coughs> necs then panasonic then rc5 rc6 rca r step then Sinjin 4 you know like uh, Sinjin 4 ppm sharp sony all these things it can be used okay so if you can see uh, this is 4 and 6 okay 13436 so 4 is panasonic and 6 is rc6 so rc6 is very well recommended okay even any c's are recommended okay so in that case you can go ahead with tsop 13438 so 13438 will be the best choice for meeting almost all the applications <coughs> Okay, now let us talk about absolute maximum rating of this particular device. So we have the supply voltage. So supply voltage can be up to plus 6 volt. Okay, so if you give up to 6 volt, it won't damage. At the same time, supply current is maximum 3 milliamperes. Okay, and we have output voltage, <coughs> which is going to be supply voltage plus 0.3 volt. Okay, so this is the very good device, which is going to give you a quite good output. Now output current will be close to 5 milliamps, okay, and it has junction temperature capacity of 100 degree centigrade, the storage temperature range, operating temperature range, all these things are given, operating temperature you can see it is minus 25 to 85 degree centigrade. The power consumption is 10 milliwatts and soldering temperature is 5, no problem. So we have understood the operator, you know, like a maximum operating, uh, maximum uh, ratings now we'll see the electrical ratings that is you know like recommended okay so basically in the recommended things you can see supply current is just close to uh, typical 350 microamperes okay this is milliampere so 3.35 milliamperes means 350 microampere less than 1 milliamps okay <clears throat> now if you see supply voltage so supply voltage is 2 volt minimum to 5.5 volt maximum if you are not supposed to give more than this if you are having uh, you know like proper operating conditions so in that case we will be trying to use 3.3 volt application as well as 5 volt application got it now we have transmission distance so it can work up to 39 meters of distance so the thing is if your IR receiver is 39 meters away then also it will be able to receive the signal okay so it can work up to 39 meters now Output low voltage, you can see output low voltage is uh, maximum 100 millivolt. So uh, it is very good choice. Like you will not be able to see, uh, you know, like uh, I mean, false detection. Okay. The minimum irradiance is <coughs> maximum it is 0.1 milliwatt per meter square, and maximum irradiance is minimum it is 30 watt per meter square. Okay. And directivity is very good. It is plus minus 45 degree. Okay, so plus minus 45 degree it is having directivity as well. <coughs> now let us talk about various, uh, uh, you know, like uh, performances. So if you see the performance of uh, frequency dependence of responsivity. So responsivity is F by F naught. So frequency wise, let's say 36 kilohertz, okay, or 38 kilohertz for that. So 38 kilohertz by F naught is also 38 kilohertz. So at that place, you will see maximum. Responsibility which is close to 
1 okay and as you go both the direction then the responsivity is reducing okay <coughs> now you can see uh, about directivity and sensitivity we have already seen in sensitivity if you see as voltage is more than 2 volt then it doesn't change at all so sensitivity is very good <coughs> it is very much insensitive to any disturbances okay so we have seen the sensitivity now we'll talk about data formats so just now i was talking about data formats you can see this series is designed to suppress spurious outputs pulses due to noise or disturbance signal so this noise and disturbance signal will not be applicable at all okay <coughs> at the same time uh, this is having a bandpass filter with center frequency of let's say 38 kilohertz and fulfill conditions in the table below so the thing is it is going to uh, have AGC uh, which is going to ensure that there is no spurious pulses present at the receiver's output and that AGC job is what it does it suppresses all the DC lights basically the DC lights will be from your tungsten bulbs or sun, uh, sun lights then there is continuous signal at any frequency then we have a strongly or weakly modulated a strongly or weakly modulated patterns from fluorescent lamps uh, with electronic blasts and we have 2.4 gigahertz as well as 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi signal so all these things will be suppressed so this is the data format under that we will see uh, what are the data formats so basically it has a maximum burst length let us say we will talk about TSOP 134 so it has 10 cycles per burst then it has after each burst of length there is a minimum gap of, gap, gap of 10 to 40 cycles which is <coughs> more than 11 cycles and if you see a little bit other things RC5 code is there yes it is there RC6 code is actually preferred NEC code is also preferred then step R step code is also preferred okay <coughs> it doesn't have Sony code okay uh, this uh, uh, TSOP 134 series but 132 series is having uh, TSOP so which is uh, preferred okay so sony code is available with tsop 132 and rca 56 kilohertz code is also available okay so this is how uh, 134 series fulfills almost everything so we'll see the circuit diagram with tsop 13436 and same circuit will be applicable with 38 also okay <coughs> Good. So this is the you know like package dimension and everything. So as you can see, package dimension is quite small. It is around 15 uh, mm, and this side <laughs> the width is just 5 mm. Okay, <coughs> and total height is around 5 mm. So 5 mm by 5 mm by 15 mm is total length and width. Okay. So we have seen complete data sheet overview and what were the features and appli applications of this particular. IR receiver. Now we will try to understand this circuit diagram. Okay. So if you receive, move to the next phase, we have already seen the features. We have seen the application infrared control systems. We have seen mechanical data and everything. We have seen the block diagrams. Okay. So block diagrams was quite well explained about like <coughs> what were the different stages and how it was giving the output. We have the block diagram also quite internally explained. So that is not an issue. We have application circuit just now I explained to you like what were the R1 values, C1 values and how microcontroller is connected with the output, right? And this is again one more <coughs> application circuit for the same thing. The output can be uh, passed through a resistor to, uh, you know, like protect against any voltage spikes, okay? So if there is a voltage spike, there will be a need of introducing one resistor in the series with the supply voltage also, okay? We have seen parts table, so we have preferred our, uh, you know, like uh, parts with 134 series. And <coughs> we have the maximum ratings, absolute maximum rating we have already seen. We have seen the electrical uh, parameters also, like what was, what would be the supply voltage, what would be the transmission distance, what is the minimum radius and all, directivity as well. Now we have seen about uh, the data format. So data format we have already talked about, REC code like RC, RC5 and uh, RC6 and NEC code as well as you know like uh, RCA56 code and everything okay 
so let us see the application circuit that we are talking about okay so if you see tsop 13436 as well as tsop 13438 both will be having exactly same circuit okay so what you have to do is you have a supply of 5 volt that will be passing through a 100 ohm resistor and it is going to the supply signal okay vcc okay or vs that was called here vs and that will be grounded with 10 microfarad capacitor as well as 0.1 microfarad filter capacitor okay so this is the complete setting now this 10 microfarad will be of around 16 volt and this will be you can take up around 25 volt or more than that that is 50 volt around okay and both of the capacitors you can take up uh, ceramic capacitors now coming to the fact that this is ground pin which is grounded the pin number 1 is going to be uh, you know like going to the microcontroller pin rb0 which is connected to the uh, microcontroller pin io right and this is one kilo ohm resistor which is introduced in the mid <coughs> line now one more thing what you can do is if you want to increase its uh, uh, you know like more st stability and everything then you can add one pull up resistor at this particular output pin with 5 volt okay so this particular uh, you know like pull up resistor can be of uh, let's say uh, 20 kilo ohm or you know like it should be more than 10 kilo ohm so you can keep it around 18 kilo ohm or something like that okay that is one thing you can do good uh, <clears throat> after this we have already seen almost all the circuits if you see other older parts where earlier you know like uh, same series we had tsop 1830 or 1836 1838 or 18556 okay so same series has been now modified and they have come up with very enhanced features okay so i will suggest you like you can directly replace all these uh, uh, you know like uh, parts with tsop 13436 uh, as well as tsop 13438 okay so if you want to still utilize tsop 1836 or tsop 1838 then you can use the same circuit with these devices okay all right guys <clears throat> if you still do have any questions or any queries regarding the ir sensors and its applications and how to design the particular circuits for your applications uh, you can reach out to us and uh, you can put down your questions in the comment box and we shall be able to answer you out for your any ir receiver uh, application circuits thank you so much